Okay, so now in this video, we will allow the player to play the game on that car which he or she selected. So right here, we have the car selection script. Open this up and now we will do two things. The first one, as I told you, we will play the game on that car which the player selected. And the second one will be, we will keep the track of that car which the player selected. So if the player closes the game and then he play the game again, then that car will be already selected. Okay. So first of all, right here at the top, let's create a private game object array. Okay. And let's name this as car list. Now right here, let's add a start function or method. And let's fill the car list array with our car models. So first of all, we will say car list equals to new game object. And then we will say transform dot child count, which is basically the number of, number of cars available. So now this car list array is equals to that cars. Okay. Now in the car list, we have all of the three cars. Now after this, let's fill the array with our car models. So we will say for let's create an integer which will be equals to zero. And then that will be less than if that is less than the child count okay transform dot child count then what we will do we will say i plus plus we will basically increase it and then the car list will also change so this is basically the same method which we did right here but now we are feeding that data to the car list array okay so if the car changes then this car list will know that which car is currently activated or the player selected. So we will say transform dot get child. And there pass the i and then type dot game object. Okay. So now we have given this car list the car models. Now what we want to do. Let me actually move this a little bit there. Now after this, as I told you, we will store the car, okay, which the player selected. We will keep a track of that car. So when the player closes the game and then if we play the game again, then we will select that car again, okay, which the player previously selected. So for that, we will say for each and then we will say game object go in the car list okay and when we go inside the car list we will then set active false so we will basically deactivate all of the cars and now we want to show the car which the player previously selected so we will say that if car list we will pass the current car now in the car list array and then what we will do we will simply activate the that current car so we will say car list current car dot set active and let's set it to true so guys right here we just simply feed all of the car models to this car list array and then we just simply did the same thing which we did right here for choosing the car so right here in the car list array we will just simply switch between different cars and then after that we are keeping track of the car which the player previously selected okay so right here you can just simply type that fielding models to car list array and then right here we are just simply keeping track of the current car or you can say the car which the player previously selected. So now guys we have this code ready. Now in the next video what we will do we will simply play the game on that car which the player selects. Okay. So we will do that in the next video.